Now, if you've heard some of those stories of what happened last year, students were asked to leave relatively quickly. They had to switch to remote learning. And some of those students living on campus had a difficult time because they may not have lived anywhere near the school where they were attending. Because of that, some students are a little bit concerned about going too far away from home. And this upcoming year, you might be considering transferring. When you transfer schools, what you hope happens may not be the exact same of what could actually happen. There are some things you wanna keep in mind when you're thinking about transferring. The first thing you wanna check on when you're transferring schools is that school where you're planning to attend or hope to attend, look at their transfer credit policy. What does that say and how does that work? And you also wanna take it a step further. Maybe talk to an admissions counselor or someone who's been assigned to you at the school and ask them to look at your current transcript from the institution you had been attending and ask them which credits would transfer into the new program of which you want to attend. And ask them which one of those credits you've already earned would transfer into the new school for the new program that you want to attend. The school may have some limits on transferring credits, meaning they may not accept over a certain amount, even though those technically could easily transfer into your new program. You just wanna get an understanding of the school where you're planning to attend, their policies and how that all works. Once you get an idea and if it's something you wanna move forward with, you still need to apply to that new school. You have to submit all the required paperwork, apply for financial aid by making sure you list that new school in your FAFSA application, as well as asking that school if there's any other financial aid applications you need to complete, like potentially the CSS profile, or if there's another application that they request, maybe a state scholarship application or something like that. And then you officially have to wait to be accepted. Since you've already had the conversation about which credits would be transferred in, which ones would be accepted, and hopefully you'll get an understanding of where you are in your program at that new school, then you're pretty much all set to start attending classes there at your next academic year but have those conversations before you assume that all the work you've already put into your degree or your program will transfer over to the new institution. And one thing with transferring schools, if you took a leave of absence from the school that you were attending and now you want to transfer, you didn't technically earn those credits or complete the requirements of that particular course. So you'll likely see on your official transcript from the school you were attending, they might say incomplete as grades. So chances are the new school won't consider those as credits that can be transferred into their institution or they won't let you just pick up where you left off. Chances are you have to start over with that particular program. Like we said before, some reasons that students want to transfer, they just want to be closer to a home base that they can get to in the event that classes may go remote or you're asked to leave campus quickly. That means you can still continue your program and not be worried too much about physical distance like some students faced last year. If you found these tips helpful, make sure to share our video and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other topics that we're gonna cover.